What up folks, welcome to Ontario History Vlogs. Thank you very much for tuning in, coming to you from downtown Ontario on the corner of Main Street and Euclid Avenue to deliver some unfortunate news to you all. <laughs> Comes at a wrong time too because right now is a time where Ontarians are supposed to remain optimistic and don't give them hope and you know just keep on thinking positive. But it's challenging when you wake up to news like this. Okay, This right here behind me just went up in flames about two days ago at 1 30 in the morning and it was once known as the hot point clubhouse built in 1917 by an individual by the name of earl richardson who was from los angeles and he moved to upland to uh, manage the stone castle which is located in san antonio heights which is a power station and his job there was to read the meters so as he did that on a daily basis uh, he discovered that the area was generating a lot more electricity than they could actually utilize or sell so what did he do being the genius that he was is he went ahead and created devices that utilize electricity and power he created stoves uh, hair dryers washing machines but his most notable invention is the hot point iron which heated to the very tip and ladies in general loved that it became a success and in 1904 he quit managing the power station in san antonio heights and opened up his own company called the electric no i'm sorry pacific electric and heating company which is just across the street from euclid avenue on the uh north west side of Maine and Euclid and it was it was in the Grand Palace building for uh, six years that's when he developed more money and was able to generate his own factory moving it across the street calling it General Electric Hot Point and that was in 1910 by 1914 his company was worth over a million dollars which was a ridiculous amount at the time well come 1917 he wanted to promote good fellowship amongst employees so what did he do is create the Hot Point Clubhouse in 1917 40 feet by 100 feet and dinners took place here um, company parties and it wasn't limited to oh and also a store was in here and a cafe as well but it wasn't limited to the employees here because uh, the public was able to utilize it as well in fact dancing instructors they would rent out this house to uh, teach people how to dance it was a really nice place inside uh, people would book private parties and events here very very happening clubhouse at the time very very functioning and uh, after 1917 it just kind of prospered from there um, General Electric Hot Point stood around until 1982 and so did this clubhouse that's when they closed its doors for good and after 1982 I'm not exactly sure about the history of this clubhouse but I do know that it was abandoned for about 20 years now a very very long time and I must admit, it's very unfortunate. Another historical structure here in downtown Ontario gone due to a fire. A lot happened during the 1970s and 80s. A lot of these historical buildings went up in flames and no one knows what happened to it. Uh, this ha um, happened about two nights ago at 1.30 in the morning and I'm sure it's under investigation, but as of right now, there are no answers out there as to who did it, who's responsible, but very, very unfortunate. Another piece of history over here in Ontario gone forever. Uh, about two months ago, they fenced off this whole entire area and uh, there was utility trucks right here working on something and the other day went up in flames so all of that is not necessary whatever they were doing train over here is gonna blow its horn in just a second I'm sure regardless of the situation this is uncalled for and uh, whoever's responsible should pay for this we will not stop until we find you I mean, I highly doubt that there was any plan for this guy, but this is just adding insult to injury. So after 102 years, the city's gonna have to figure out what's gonna occupy this land now in 2019.
So again, coming to you from downtown Ontario on the corner of Main and Euclid Avenue. Sorry to deliver this unfortunate information to you all, but as they say, it is what it is. I'm Jerry James with Ontario History Vlogs, reminding you to live, learn, to explore. Until the next time, see ya.